With the release of version 15.50, several improvements and some new options have been made to the finite element sag tension to increase the performance and reduce analysis time in PLS CAD models. To begin, let's navigate to Criteria SAP's Finite Element Sag Tension. In this dialog, we can see that we have three different levels of SAP sag tension to choose from, L2, L3, and L4. L1 isn't mentioned in this dialog, but it refers to the use of ruling span sag tension. In ruling span sag tension, the horizontal component of tension is always equal for any weather case, similar to putting the wire in pulleys or blocks. In reality, conductors are clipped in and there is a fixed length of wire in every span. This then will result in changes in tension between spans with changes in wind and ice loading as well as temperature. By default, a PLS CAD project is assumed to be in SAPS Level 2. When a model is in SAPS Level 2, all structures are treated as being infinitely rigid when the sag tension analysis is performed. Structure deflection is not considered during the sag tension analysis with SAPS Level 2. Interaction between spans and insulator swing in both the longitudinal and transverse movement is considered in SAPS Level 2 and can be considered very quickly. Let's now take a look at a high wind load case applied to a structure in L2 and see what it looks like. So we'll start by selecting L2 for our analysis mode, and you'll notice here that we have a simple distribution example project. Flat terrain, all equal 250 foot spans. Now let's navigate to Criteria, Structure Loads, Methods 3-4 to configure our load case. We have just one load case in the table set to a high wind weather case, and in order to display a load case, we need to select a FE cable condition here. With that configured, now let's go to Sections Display Options. In the bottom of this dialog, we can select a display condition override for all of our wires. Instead of choosing a weather case, let's choose a load case. And once we do this, we can select the load case and which structure we'd like to apply it to. Let's pick structure 9 since it is right in the middle of our 17 structure example line. And once we click OK, we are now seeing our high wind load case as it applies to structure 9. And notice how none of the structures are deflecting. Now let's take a look at the next higher level of SAPS analysis L3. We navigate back to Criteria SAPS Finite Element Sag Tension where we can select the option for L3. SAPS level L3 analysis will take structure deflections into account by using simple stiffness matrices or springs at each wire attachment point. One important thing to note about SAPS level L3 analysis is that it is not applicable to guide or asymmetric structures since those structures have a different stiffness in one direction than the other. For example, a guide structure is stiffer when you have load pulling against the guys than load pushing into the guys. So any structure that has guy wires on it or has different stiffness in one direction versus the other should not be analyzed with SAPS level L3. There is also the option when using L3 analysis to limit it to just PLS pole structures and not tower structures. Towers are typically very rigid structures. It may be acceptable to model these in SAPS level L2 and the other structures as SAPS level L3. Once we click OK, the display updates and the wires appear to be disconnected from the structures because PLS CAD is showing the positions of the wires considering structure deflection for all structures in the model that are in the same section of conductor as structure 9. There is also a feature in the SAPS criteria here to limit the number of structures to include in a L3 or L4 SAPS analysis. When we enable this option and leave it set to 0 and click OK, notice how only the structure 9 is the one that has deflection. All of the other structures are assumed to be rigid. If we go back and change it to 1, now structures 8 and 10 are flexible as well. And if we change it to 2, now structures 7 and 11 are also flexible. Using this feature can drastically decrease the time it takes to perform structure checks since the loads are calculated using a limited set of structures for deflection. It will depend on your project, but in general, two flexible structures beyond the one being checked will give results similar to a full L3 or L4 analysis. Going back to the SAPS criteria again, we can enable the option for SAPS level L4. An L4 analysis is the highest level of analysis and uses full structure models in the sag tension analysis to calculate deflections. Because of this, it can take a bit longer to analyze compared to L3. L4 analysis also has some options to make it run faster. The first option is to use L4 on PLS pole structures only and limit tower structures to L3. 
Just like the option in L3, this is limiting tower structures to a lower level of analysis because they are typically very rigid and do not deflect heavily. The next option is to limit L4 to just structures that have guy wires or asymmetric stiffness. With this option, then structures that do not have guys or are symmetrical can be analyzed in L3. These options can give you the best of both worlds between L3 and L4, with the accuracy of L4 for structures that need it and the speed of L3 for acceptable structures. The third option in L4 is to strip or remove joints and members from tower structures that do not deflect a lot. This option can simplify tower structures being L4 analyzed to speed up the analysis, and should only be used if you are not choosing the first option to make tower structures analyzed in L3. The fourth option is a new option added with version 15.50 and can drastically reduce the analysis time. What we found in talking with engineers and designers that are using higher levels of SAPS analysis is that their primary interest is structure loading and analysis. In previous versions, opting for a L3 or L4 analysis meant that all sag tension calculations were performed to this level. This meant that users would need to wait for a sag tension analysis after clicking OK in this dialog box for all sections in the model because a sag tension analysis was needed to be performed to show the graphical positions of the wires considering structure deflection for the entire model at the display conditions. In addition to this, when a structure check was being performed, the insulator swing report was performed using L4 sag tension analysis. Since most users are interested in structure utilization, you can perform a structure check command with this option and it only calculates sag tension for loads when a structure check is performed and not for the general display of the line. With this option not selected, even a simple line can take a few moments to update the display to show the position of the wire with the structures deflected. If we go back and enable this option, notice how the display updates instantly. And if we perform another structure check, we can see that it now runs significantly faster. So we can see that for a full L4 analysis, the structure utilization is 117.2%. In comparison to a L4 analysis, where we look at only two, one, or zero structures beyond the one being checked, we can see we have utilizations of 117.1%, 116.1%, and 102.3%, respectively. And notice how the analysis times get faster and faster when we enter less structures beyond the one we're checking to be included in the analysis. And for this example, we only need to go one structure beyond the one being checked to get results almost identical to the full L4 SAPS analysis. We hope this video helps shed some light on the different levels of SAPS analysis and the various options you can enable between them. And with these new features and performance improvements, we also hope that you find your FE sag tension analyses to be significantly faster. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powline.com. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at If you'd like to receive a quote to purchase or renew your license, please contact us at sales at And for any technical questions, please contact us at support at Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.